All right, our second rhythm lesson, this is going to be on power chords. Power chords are two notes. It's the root and the perfect fifth. And that, the reason they call it a perfect fifth is because it, the perfect interval implies that it creates no tension. It's completely consonant. So for example, if we're in E and we go up, you know, minor two, two, flat three, three, four, flat five, five, our perfect fifth is B. If we play those two together, E and B on the next string, you get a completely consonant chord. That's called a power chord. Now these are movable shapes, and I've given you the shapes for roots on the sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string, right? So what you're going to do is, if it's open, obviously play with your open and first finger. But if, they, if they're movable, you're going to see you play with your first finger and then third finger. Now some people play power chords with their pinky. I do, a lot of people do, it doesn't matter. It's very simple. So with your root on your sixth string, it's like that, there's F. Your root on your fifth string, right? Root on your fourth string. They're all three the same exact shape. So what you're gonna do is practice some of these closest moves, these basic moves that I gave you before, uh, the chords that go together, and practice them with power chords. So. For example, let's open our metronome here. So we have our metronome on. Let's practice F and C. Now if you notice what I did there, I played F and C in two different spots. I started with F on my sixth string, and then I went to C on my fifth string. And then I reversed it. I went up to play F on my fifth string, and then played C on my sixth string. This is what I want you to do. Practice the list of uh, basic moves of the chords that go together. And again, it doesn't matter major or minor, you're just looking at the roots, right? You're just looking at the roots. And Practice with the metronome, switching back, forth, back, uh, back and forth between the two chords, but start in a different place each time. So find your C and F power chord up here. Find it over here. What about on the fourth string, right? Start on the fourth string. Hit our metronome. if I did 4th string to 6th string. See what I mean? So you want to get used to power chords, get used to playing the root and the perfect fifth together and knowing where the, all the spots are on guitar. Know where all your F power chords are. Know where all your G sharp power chords are. Get used to them. Play back and forth with, some, with a metronome with all your basic moves. Because these power chords, whether you play rock or pop or punk or whatever it is, they're in basically everything. Uh, so many players have made a living playing nothing but power chords. I mean, think Green Day. See you next video.